Oh, it's time to pull out the old pineapple. Hey, yeah. Much success. Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom. There are a lot of things to learn about with Molotovs and Franks. Uh, they are the throwable offensive weapons of PUBG Mobile. Sure, you can use smokes offensively and flashbangs offensively, but they're not in and of themselves going to kill someone. Uh, and there's a lot of, an, there is a real art to throwing a frag grenade. Don't get me wrong. Like there's, this guy is going to go up and open the door on the top balcony there. I see a little head, a uh, little head snap up and we're going to time this perfectly. Now, this is a beautiful part about frags. Frags are excellent like this. If he doesn't move, you can just land it. So as it goes past him, boom, just absolutely rocks him. And that's wonderful when it's an instant kill. The problem with frags and hear me out in this, and I'm going to tell you why Molotovs are so strong right now. And they're actually, I think, in my opinion, way stronger than frags. And that's from someone who gets an awful lot of kills with frag grenades, long range kills too. If you're in solos and you knock some and you kill someone with a frag grenade or a Molotov, the result is the same. But if you're playing a game of squads, that poor guy, yeah, Molotov doesn't care about your uh, hiding behind a box. If you're playing a game of squads and you knock someone, a frag grenade only knocks them. And that's it. The frag grenade is spent. The destructive force is spent. A Molotov is outstanding at both knocking the target and then killing the same target with just the one throwable. Think about that. You've got a Molotov. You get it up in the air. It lands and it knocks the target. Makes sense. But then it keeps burning and it also kills the target. And a frag grenade doesn't do that. Um, a Molotov is incredibly strong because it will not only knock and thirst, it will also do it over a huge area. And it will do it to people who weren't in the initial blast as well. So if someone's running through a molly and they're low health and they get knocked, it'll still knock them, even though they weren't there when the initial Molotov splashed. And you can see this is incredibly strong in small rooms because molly spread in a way that frag grenades don't. What do I mean by that? Well, quite apart from seeing that room there that's completely chock full of frames everywhere, yeah. the reason that works is because Molotovs don't have the same line of sight issues that frag grenades have. This is actually Chinese PUBG Mobile, um, but it's the same, same. And I'll show you one from Chinese, one from Global. Um, this frag grenade goes into a tiny little room, okay? That should kill everyone in that room. But the guy is actually in the corner behind that barrel. And because the frag grenade was next to the barrel and he is on the other side of it, he doesn't die. Likewise, there is a guy up on that balcony. Like a frag grenade should totally kill the guy in that balcony. But frag grenades ignore line of sight. If like there's a door in the way, if there's a tiny pole in the way, you can hide your whole body behind a telegraph pole and the frag grenade won't touch you because the center of your mass is not in direct line of sight with the frag grenade. Um, of course, frags are outstanding in their own right. They're very, very good in open fields like this, where you use them like an artillery barrage. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you cook the grenade nicely so that when it lands, there's not a long period of time for them to escape, and you land it in a position that's very hard to move away from without taking damage from, say, my gun. Um, and watch when this one lands. It lands nearly instantaneously and blows up. That's all about cooking and that's all about throwing and range. And then there's the art form of bouncing it over the top of roofs in Pachinki. I've, I've shown a couple of clips of me doing this. You land it on the front side of the roof and it bounces over the peak of the roof and lands behind the roof and blows them up. These are all wonderful, but you see that target's knocked. He's not dead. This target's gonna get knocked. He's not dead and I can't see the target and I can't thirst him and I can't finish that target. That is a real problem. Um, this is a lot like sniper rifles, and I know that's a strange analogy to make, but if you were using a sniper rifle in squats, quite often, oh, I mean, this is one, watch this, this is what I'm talking about with mollies. This is a great example. That frag grenade lands in the room next to me, does nothing, that's cool. The molly comes in and, ow. I, it's gonna knock me. I can't get out of it. 
the range, the radius is just so massive. Even when I run into the corner and it's actually just outside the radius of the frag of the molly, I'm still on fire. So it burns me down. So even when you're just on the edges of the Molotov, you're still getting shagged by it. it it's just absolutely crazy. Um, you get, it doesn't work every time. Like I'm not saying that every single time you get knocked by a molly, you're going to die. But it happens a lot. It happens an awful lot. Other things that Molotovs do that people don't seem to realize, um, you can throw a molly and it will actually burn a door. Like it'll go through the door, uh, which is really, really crazy strong. Uh, when you think about it, if someone's in one of those huts, you just throw a molly at the door and it will go through the door and burn them down. And look, everyone getting burned here. And then there's a guy at the top camping the top stairs that those guys were actually pushing. And we're going to blow up the gas can in there after, you know, we're also killing. Like, it's just crazy. The, the gas can thing happens all the time with Molotovs. Here's a, another example. There's a guy in this this house over here. He throws a frag. It hurts me for like, what, 15 health? The molly is going to burn the gas can down and explode the gas can in the room where the guy is, and that blows him up, even though he wasn't inside the circle of the Molotov itself. I mean, this is pretty impressive stuff for a throwable weapon that you don't have to cook. You can hold this thing for as long as you want. It's it's perma-primed, and it's absolutely perfect for these people that are camping. You can use it like a, a mortar. Obviously, there's a guy on the roof above me, landed, you know, just wanted to hang out with his wang out and not engage and have a nice little camp, and voila, the Molotov says, that's great, you do that. Watch this. This is this this little clip here. Watch how he takes my helmet out. I lie down and immediately auto loot another helmet. Lie down, get a new level one helmet. <laughs> I love that. I remember looking at it going, how did he hurt me so bad? My helmet's not even dented. What happened? I had to go back and look at it to figure it all out. Um, and the Molly's brilliant for stuff like this, where you know the guy's getting a heal, he's behind that little thing. All you gotta do is throw it somewhere in the general vicinity. You don't have to time it, you don't have to cook it. And that's incredible, because think about this. Um, and this is obviously Ducky. This is what Ducky likes to do with Molotovs. He likes to bug the screen so that the Molotov trial comes out behind him. Think about this. One of the worst things about throwing a frag grenade is that you have to let it cook. If you don't let the frag cook, what happens is when you throw it, they see it land on the ground and they run away or they hear it land and they run away. A, a really good frag, you throw it and the enemy doesn't know it's there till it explodes. Pretty much you want it to explode just above the ground like a dirty bomb, okay? Watch this, I pull a frag grenade out and I'm like, oh, I don't really want the frag. Uh, I want a molly, I want a molly because I don't have time to cook this grenade. I don't have time to make sure that that guy's gonna do the right thing. I just instantly let it go and choose a molly because the molly is gonna be instantaneous. It's gonna force him either towards me or it's gonna kill him. Whereas if I'm holding a frag there and he sees me holding a frag out in my arm, he can jump over and have a push or he could move or he could do anything the molly is so much more effective like that now don't get me wrong i don't think frag grenades are bad for business i use them an awful lot what i have done in the past couple of patches is double my molly output and take less frags now frags are still very very effective and frags are great and they're even better in solos because you don't have the issue that we're talking about here where um, a frag knock isn't necessarily a frag kill, uh, unlike a molly, but in squads, um, mollies are so much, so much better. And mollies are great at being an area of effect weapon, where if someone is pushing you and you chuck a molly out, it'll stop that area, them from going across that area, or they're going to take a lot of damage when they do. Listen for it. There it goes, there it goes up, we, we, we blew up the bloody, um, we blew up the bloody, uh, what do you call it? The, the petrol can again. Um, this guy, for instance, there's a knock here on Benji. I'm just holding that door. I don't have time for a frag. Molly, instant, at the floor, already damaged. He's trying to heal there. It's going to knock him. He's running away. He's miles away from where the Molly is now, but he was still burning and he died because the molly doesn't stop damaging just because you're standing outside the radius. Even though it's a small amount of damage, 
you take so much at the start that it's enough to just kick things right across the line. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the videos. Um, please use more mollies if you want to win because Molotovs right now are incredibly powerful and varied weapons that do an awful lot. There it is. It's doing it all over again. It's still the, the, the gift that just keeps giving. It's still knocking and killing at the top of the stairs. Until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.